Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and today I'd like to talk about something that's actually worth being outraged over, as opposed to a washed up rapper that is selling clone consoles from his website. So what I want to talk about is something related to mobile gaming. And mobile gaming, of course, is a very contentious topic, but the fact of the matter is, there are several good mobile games out there. It's a matter of if you want to take the time and effort to find them, for one, and for two, if you can accept certain concessions in some cases, which sometimes they do have. But that being said, there are a lot of great games that I like to play on phones like my Nokia 6.1, which I've got right here. Uh, I've got several good games on this phone, like uh, got Mario Run, got Pac-Man 56, you know, 256, Asphalt 9, I've got PUBG Mobile, which is actually a pretty good version of PUBG, as long as you don't mind it looking like butthole because it at least plays better in the Xbox One version, but I digress. Um, the thing is, there's certain games that we like to play and sometimes they be games that would be really good experiences on mobile. Like for example, I'm a big fan of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms series, which is a strategy slash RPG series that has been long running ever since the 80s on like the Famicom and PC and whatnot. And, they still make games to this day, as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, they have a Romance of the Three Kingdoms 13 on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Pretty cool stuff, in my opinion. But it seems like a series that would be really good to take on the go as a mobile phone, especially since strategy games are really popular on mobile devices. But sadly, the new Romance of the Three Kingdoms game on mobile, I can't ever play it. Now, you might be wondering, why can't I play it? Is it, like, because it's in Japanese or something like that? No, not necessarily. It's actually like a serious pet peeve of mine when it comes to mobile games. And that is the fact of the matter is, whenever I first booted up the game, it asked for a few permissions, which is not unnormal. It's not abnormal for them to do that. That's something that they will tend to do. But some of the permissions were just way too far, in my opinion. And one of those was it asked for the permission to get my phone number, as well as to make and receive calls. That, in my opinion, is asking the player way too much. There is no reason that you actually need it. Now, they claim that the reason is because they need it for tailoring advertising experiences. But I'm pretty sure there are better ways to do that that doesn't infringe on the player's privacy and respects them a bit more. So, I had to flat out delete this game. And it's sad because I like these kinds of games, but I'm never going to have a chance to experience it, not until the developer deals with this very critical problem. That is something worth being outraged over. Our privacy is more important than YouTubers bashing somebody selling consoles on the internet. So, just consider that, guys. And um, tell me some of your horror stories of mobile games. Till then, Down Phoenix out.